everybody, welcome back to another episode of Breaking Apart. It's me, Tao. Hell yeah, you like to see me, don't you? Today we're gonna do something a little bit special, or should I say a little bit different? Because today we're gonna review not only just one, but actually four. Uh, as you can see on the table in front of me here, I have four boxes. Now, what is in these boxes? I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> It's, it's, it's amazing. So these four boxes might look different to you, but they're actually quite similar. They all come from the same brand, which is Anchor Brake Pads. And yes, today we're going to talk about brake pads. And uh, actually, there's a lot of things about brake pads that I didn't know initially when I was recording this. But after I uh, tried to research and uh, to do this kind of review, this uh, brake pads review, I learned quite a bit about it. Now, the main difference between these four boxes is that these two and these two are actually from the different category so this two is anchor deluxe well this two is anchor competition so let's push this two aside first because we're going to talk about the deluxe one first so uh, what is anchor deluxe now anchor deluxe is the most common or like the most basic brake pads that anchor provides for their customers we have two models here so we have the dx10 and the dx21 now what's the difference between those two now dx10 is the most common and the the most basic level which means uh, this is like very basic but it's not like that though because its temperature is average between 0 to 500 degrees celsius which is pretty good and the friction range that this gets is uh, 0 0.36 to 0 0.49 mu mu as in like mu not moo because uh, that's a tau voice its average mu is 0 0.414 so that's like the most basic that you can get uh, from anchor deluxe which is this dx10 so uh, let's move on to the dx21 and the DX21 is of course slightly better than uh, this DX10s. Obviously the number is bigger, which means it's better than this. Uh, the, the main difference is that this DX10 is built to uh, for daily users, like if you just drive a car daily, like go to shops, or go and buy groceries and all that, this is like the most basic level. But if you're like, you wanna go a bit crazy and drive a little bit faster, uh, on the street, but not like breaking the law, okay, I understand, don't break the law, but like if you want to drive a bit faster, this is suitable for that. You can use for daily usage and a slightly better performance when you're going a bit more high speed on the road. So this DX21 has a temperature range between 0 to 600, so it's, that's like 100 degree, degree, so that's like 100 degrees Celsius better than the DX10. Other than that, its friction range is about 0 0.38 to 0 0.53 mu, and its average mu is 0 0.425. So that's like a, quite a big step up uh, compared to the DX10. But you know, it's like, it's, it's still just built for like slightly faster driving on the street. So if you really like, you really want to go a bit faster, like really want to go like just a little bit faster without breaking a law so, and all that, you have to go to the Anchor Competition Series, which I'm going to talk about right now. So, here we go. This is the Anchor Competition. And we have two models here, which is the FC82 and the FC93. Now, what? the hell is the difference? Well, I'm gonna tell you. So uh, as you can see, the name is already changed. It's not. It's no longer DX, it's FC. So uh, you know that that's like, it's pretty serious. And you can see the packaging, it has a sports car in front of it. So it definitely means that it's going to be a little bit more serious. So the FC82 is actually, I would say like the basic level for this competition. So this FC82 can do either uh, street sport or like a actual racing. So I think this covered the best range between like daily driving and also like maybe a bit of racing as well. So for this FC82, its uh, temperature range is like way higher than the one that we just looked at just now, which is the deluxe one. This one can actually go from 100 to 800 degrees Celsius. How much higher was the freaking DX21? 600? Yeah, so that's like 200 plus. And uh, its friction range is 0 0.41 to 0 0.55 mu. Again, that's a lot of mu. So with that said, it might sound like, oh my God, this sounds like a really good package, you know, if I if I want to do racing as well, if I want to do daily driving as well, I guess this, this is pretty good, right? But uh, there is a downside to it. So it's not like you can just drive this normally for daily driving. So the cap is, as I said, it goes from a range from 100 to 800 degrees Celsius. It doesn't start at zero like the ones in the Deluxe series. Like they, they both, the DX10 and DX21, they both have a range from zero to 500 or zero to 600. Uh, but this one is from 100 to 800. Now what does that mean? That means if uh, you try to brake but the temperature of your uh, disc doesn't reach 100 degrees Celsius, it kind of wouldn't brake well because of that. So if you're like doing daily driving, 
you wouldn't be driving that fast normally, right? So if you don't drive that fast, but the brakes doesn't work when you don't drive that fast, uh, it's not really an ideal brake to use for daily drive. So that's one reason why if you're just doing like daily driving, but not so intense in racing, uh, this is not really suitable for that. So yeah, that's one of the downside for this competition series. But the good thing about this, if you want to do a bit more racing and you want to go a bit more intense, this can handle that. Now, let's move on to the actual premium, premium choice that uh, Anchor has. I'm not sure if this is like the most premium they have, but this is the most premium Anchor uh, competition that we have. So this is a FC93. So this one is supposed to just build for racing. So the temperature range goes from 100 to 900 degrees Celsius. 900 degrees Celsius. That's like 100 less from 1000 degrees Celsius. Other than that, its friction range is from 0.5 to 0.6 mu. So that's like very, very, very high. That means that if you break, it's, it really is gonna break. The whole car is gonna break. What does that mean? Of course it's gonna break. But like, it's gonna break way harder. So because of that, this is really built for racing. So if you really, really consider doing racing with your car, Anchor really does uh, recommend this FC93 or at least this series for you to do that. Now, we talk a lot about these uh, Anchor brake pads, but the problem is, all I said is just stats, right? You don't really know what does that mean. Like some of you guys are probably don't know what, what am I saying. And since I'm not a professional, you don't really trust me, right? So. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to, where is it? Stark Auto Works. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna head back to Stark Auto Works and find Mr. Aaron again because he's actually quite knowledgeable on this type of brake pass. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you why, but you're gonna know why once we're there. So we're gonna go there and Mr. Aaron is going to explain more in depth about this brake pass and how they uh, perform in real life situation. So uh, let's, let's go, let's go. All right, everybody, I'm back at here at the Start Auto Works shop and uh, I have Mr. Aaron here again. And uh, Mr. Aaron, the first time I came here, I saw that your office has this this sports car over there. Like, like what's the deal with this sports car? And I don't really get it. Is, is it like is it like a car you admire or what? What oh, is it? Uh, that is our regular activity. Uh, we race uh, in uh, Sepang. So basically, we are racers. Wait, you're a racer? Yeah. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, I didn't know that. Yeah, so we used to race in a uh, Sepang Circuit. So I race a uh, Saga. Uh, oh. As you can see, the behind one is a uh, CVEF. That one mm. is a uh, race by, by my partner. partner. It's called Roy. So is that the reason why your shop is kind of specialized in doing modification on sports car and all that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, we're offering a customer to have a better setup in terms of car performance, mm. like uh, handling, power, and uh, of course, car reliability as well. Okay. Because uh, if you're racing, you need a car reliability. So with that said, right, Mr. Aaron actually prepared us some example to show us that what's the difference between like the normal brake parts that you get and the sports car brake parts. So we have here, this is the Anchors series, right? Yeah, so this is a... Uh, we offering uh, anchors or uh, product for these brake pads. What's the difference between these four models? Of course, uh, they have entry level model. Mm -hmm. You have a uh, sport level. Yes, uh, between a uh, sport and uh, racing purpose. Also, we have the highest model for racing purpose as well. What really like draws the difference between this competition and then the deluxe one? Yeah, basically the pads are the same shape on a particular model. Just that different in terms of maybe the compound will be different. Mm -hmm. The plate will be different for a different uh, setup like okay maybe your car for daily usage but you don't drive fast you are drive in the street speeding like maybe 120 km below so maybe you just need to have a 0 to 500 degree rather than the higher degree some people feel like it's uh, underutilized if you buy a better bread pads something mm, like that yeah. but some people they don't doesn't mind to have a higher temperature for daily usage as well but of mm. course higher temperature will be cost you more for this particular bread pads oh, as in like price yeah in terms oh. of price yeah because this price may be from 400 ringgit and above and then this uh, spot level maybe is about uh, 500 ringgit and above so it depends on customers uh, requirement and their budget so what really like the drawbacks of this getting too high temperature because like if this can go so high temperature if i have the money i should just buy the best for my car no matter what right yeah like, if, of course of course everyone want to have a best for overall uh, for sure but the thing is some of the things you have to compromise on certain situation like what so let's say i talk about this okay. this this model this model um 
it needs a temperature from 100 degree up to 900 degree uh, meaning that you need to warm up a little bit your car so that you can able to stop your car in terms of maybe a shorter braking distance something like that or maybe a emergency situation because this one if you don't reach 100 degree uh, maybe the brake bike may not that great compared to this uh, entry level yeah. so if you're doing like usual drive this is more safer lah. Uh, yeah for more safer more balanced uh, mm. in all round temperature lah. Oh. Yeah, these two are not designed for racing so how about the middle one is the middle one good for either usual and like sports as well okay so for this uh, FC82 so sometimes they feel that okay this model may not enough for them so they need a higher degree because the car is faster faster than before so maybe you have to choose this for racing purpose some customer they don't mind they just want to have for sure maybe they want to have this because it has a sound like what kind of sound it's like sound <laughs> yeah <laughs> to show off that okay using a racing brake pad oh, oh yeah. i see i right, see right. so uh i heard that you are going to install one of these today like which one is it which yeah are you going to so currently there's a car uh currently installed a ds21 it's a very balanced uh, brake pads for all situation maybe aggressive driving uh, street usage no problem or maybe a toge no problem this customer he wants a better uh, trade day for trade day usage maybe he wants to install this uh, 82 so we will install this for that car all right shall we uh, shall we go and take a look yeah sure sure, sure. all right let's go yeah. We are seeing Mr. Aaron taking out the Anchor FC82 to replace the ones in the car. And surprisingly to me, the changing process looks pretty simple. You just unscrew a brake caliper, take out the brake pads, and replace it with the new brake pads. And in this case, it's the FC82. Unfortunately, we do not get to see the car in action as the car was not fully serviced during the time we were at the workshop. But hopefully, we get to see it in action in the future. Now that we know a lot more about these brake pads, let's head back to the studio and see what is my final conclusion on these products. So thanks to Mr. Aaron again for uh, joining us in this Breaking Apart series. Anyways, now we'll finally know a bit more about these brake pads, uh, especially these two, uh, the competition category, because this is more like uh, specifically made for racing. And since uh, Mr. Aaron knows a bit more, so he obviously knows how to explain these two. But uh, unfortunately, we don't really get to see any of this in action, especially these two. I am I'm actually quite excited to see these two in action because uh, I, I don't, from the stats alone, I don't really know does the friction range or like the temperature does make a difference or anything but uh hopefully we get to see uh these two perform i really want to see these two perform in real life like in the real racing circuit hopefully we get to see that in the future so now it comes to my uh opinion about these two for for brake pads uh, personally i don't really drive fast and uh, my car can't really go fast either so personally i will choose the ones from the deluxe edition for my case which deluxe would i choose i'll probably choose this one because this is the better deluxe one these two are my choices if i have one car for daily driving i'll go for this one if i have one car for more sports base or if i want to drive a bit faster i will go for this one but either way that's just my opinion you can go for either these two this two this one's going on this one's going about well, it doesn't matter i'm just giving my own opinion anyway that's it for this episode uh hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like subscribe comment and actually just comment down which one will you personally choose for your car and uh, that's it for today uh, I'll come back to you very soon so uh, stay tuned All right bye